We are making big moves into websites and SEO. What's happening? I am Eric J. Olson. Yeah, websites and SEO. You know, we, we've always done websites. Websites have always been a core offering, kind of a base of a pyramid, if you will, where everything starts with the website. You know, what we have found over time is that if we have, if we take care of a client's website, then the follow-on services are going to be much smoother. So what I mean by that is the website first, then SEO, then usually online advertising and social media. And usually advertising and social media kind of as a, um, almost a second tier, if you will. What I mean by that is this. So we definitely always recommend that a client nail their website and they nail their SEO because that is literally an investment in their business in a place that they 100% control. Now, here's what I mean by that. If you run an ad, you have to abide by a whole bunch of rules and you know you may not be able to say everything that you want to say. And then you also just compete um, the social media, you know, there's a lot of people that are chiming in on things that you say, but when it comes to your website, you 100% control that. And when it comes to search engine optimization, you 100% control that as well. Now, of course, there's external factors, you know, other people that are vying for that first position spot, things like that when it comes to SEO, but the words that show up in the search results in Google are the words that you put on your website. So what's great about it is you 100% control that as a business and everywhere else on the internet, you really don't. Or someone can chime in and they can change the narrative on you like with social media, right? So if you're you're not a good company, but you post that you are on social media, I can guarantee people are going to express their opinion to you. So websites and SEO. Uh, those are our big, big focuses right now, and uh, we're, we're making really incredible progress in those areas, actually. So I keep getting these reports from our SEO team showing the boost in traffic, and not only just traffic, but relevant traffic, traffic against the keywords that we're going after, after implementing our SEO strategy. So... Once a client has nailed their website, once a client has invested in SEO, then at that point, we recommend that they focus on other things like straight up advertising. When it comes to advertising, we always recommend retargeting first. What that means is someone comes to your website, we want to retarget them and show them an ad in places like Instagram, Facebook, or even across the web, retarget so you get in front of those people again. Once you have nailed that, to whatever extent your budget allows, then you can go after primary targeting, which is where you're like trying to find people that this could apply to, whether it's because they put in a search term in Google or because they fit the demographics or psychographics in Facebook. So... Look, if, you, uh, if you're looking to really focus in on building up your brand, building up your lead generation over the next year or two, we highly recommend making sure you nail the website, you nail SEO, then you start thinking about other things like advertising and social media. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, How to Launch a Seven-Figure Business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue to growing a million dollar business. It took me eight years and I made a lot of mistakes and all of those mistakes and more importantly, lessons learned are in this book and we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.